Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on the Seattle Seahawks special teams unit and coaches. How do you get fooled twice in one game, tricked by the Rams, who upset the Super Bowl champions 28-26 to in St. Louis? This game looked like it was going the Seahawks' way in the second half, despite trailing 21-6 to at half. The Seahawks came out strong, and Russell Wilson had an incredible game, over 300 yards passing and more than 100 yards rushing just by himself. However, you're not going to overcome getting tricked twice by the Rams. How did it happen? In the first half, while up 14-3, to the um, Rams punted the ball to the Seahawks. I'm sorry, the Seahawks were punting the ball to the Rams. And the Seahawks all fell for a fake by Tavon Austin. He pretended he was fair catching the ball. All the other Rams act like they were blocking to that side of the field. So the Seahawks converge to that side while Stedman Bailey is sitting there all by himself catching the ball on the right side of the football field and he has a 90-yard path for a 90-yard punt return for a touchdown. It was tomfoolery at its best. So the Rams go into halftime with a commanding lead. And despite the fact that the Seahawks almost pulled it off at the end, the Rams are victorious because not only did Austin Davis lead the team to an 80-yard touchdown drive late in the game to kind, kind of stem the tide and take some of that momentum away from the oncoming Seahawk charge, but it was um, the gutsy call by, by Fisher to fake the punt when the Seahawks were about to receive the ball with over two minutes to play and only down by two points. So um, it was amazing. 28 to 26, a gutsy call, fake punt, completed pass on fourth and down from inside your own 20 against the Rams. Now the Seahawks have dropped two straight games in a week where they gave up or traded away Percy Harvin their most electrifying weapon due to the fact that he would not come on the field last week against the Cowboys during the final drive and apparently that was the last draw. I don't know what was going on there. Will we help the Jets maybe create some room for Eric Decker and those guys over there? Well Percy Harvin's got a fresh start. The Seahawks did play good but they've got to be kicking themselves for letting Golden Tate sign with the Lions because the Lions were getting dominated by the Saints today but Golden Tate kept them in the game and it looks as if the Lions may have pulled that game off. I haven't seen the results yet, but they took a, a under two minute lead thanks in part to the play of Golden Tate, no longer a Seahawk. The Seahawks also lost some key players, including um, some of their special teams players now with the Philadelphia Eagles. So it takes three units to make a football team and it's hard to repeat as Super Bowl champions based on the fact that you played so many games just the year before. By the time you get halfway through the next year, you start to burn out no matter how talented you are. It's hard to repeat. Now, elsewhere in the NFL, outside of that 28-26 to victory by the Rams over the Seahawks, who, by the way, made a great comeback against the Eagles a couple weeks ago and almost had San Francisco last week, you had Washington beat the Tennessee Titans in a fairly meaningless game. However, what was noteworthy about this game was the fact that head coach Jay Gruden said he would not bench Kirk Cousins in the middle of a game. And what happens? He brings in Colt McCoy at, at half, and Colt McCoy promptly, on the very first play from scrimmage the entire year for him, throws an 80-yard touchdown pass to Pierre Garçon. McCoy seemed to have a nice rapport with Deshaun Jackson, but who doesn't? But the Redskins and McCoy drive down the field for a game-winning field goal at the last second, zeros on the clock, for a 19-16 to win over the Titans. So there you have it. Colt McCoy leads the Redskins over the Titans. And the St. Louis Rams trick the defending champ Seahawks in a 28-26 victory. Later today, Giants, Cowboys, Eagles are on their bye week. Go Giants.